to spawn objects so in our main scene 2d we don't need to save that let's hit play let me go into 2d mode hit play and here we are so we have a waypoint catcher just moving around so we have a size on the catcher which is being changed by this float reference yeah, let's make that faster you see our it's changing a bit faster there so we have the waypoint behavior that we've seen before this is a 2d version of that same behavior and we're using rigid bodies as you see the catcher stops the actual objects in their path and when they hit the object they st they stop its uh its speed from moving All right so we have the waypoints in which can move along and our waypoint behavior can also work with rigid bodies and not only the waypoint behavior, all the derived components from the value constraints. So in our 2D behavior, let me give that a pause. We have this one, die also, which is uh, uses the same type of components, a position behavior, which we've seen before. All right, and we can lock that. And um, they are, they're not synchronized anymore for undo and redo with, with all the components we have the rotator behavior which we saw one of those before which is gonna be doing that tiny little angle there if you can see it let me move it around trace it right now that, that allows it to do the tilt while it's moving along the path right So it has the spawner which spawns these blocks here, which have rigid bodies attached to them. That's all they do is, is fall. We've seen the waypoint catcher, and the container is just an empty, empty box. Also, made a little track game. Let's press play here. And see what's going on so the car turns around and it's moving it's turning there we are so that's also provided by a uh, waypoints behavior in 2d space so of course we can move our waypoints around and our car will adjust along the waypoints we can adjust the scale of the waypoints and change how it behaves as it travels we can add waypoints there we are inserting one in the last position it uses a rotator that rotates in the direction of travel we've seen before so that's how it works in, in 2D mode. The same as it works in 3D mode, but the components are separated as the be behaviors need uh, different logic to get them moving properly.